With Christmas coming up very soon, the United States Marine Corps Reserve Toys for Tots program in Jamestown is continuing to push before the year comes to an end. Last year, the program helped 214 children in 87 families. The remaining toys went to safe shelter for displaced children. This year, there are 17 drop sites around town, as well as nine additional businesses donating food for the volunteers. On July 26, the U.S. Postal Service announced that 3,600 post offices across the country could be closed to save costs. Of the 3,600, 75 are in North Dakota, including Kensal and 11 other communities surrounding Jamestown. A spokesman for the U.S. Postal Services says the closure of all 3,600 branches would result in $200 million a year in savings. While the move is certain to save USPS money over a period of time, a local spokesman said it will indefinitely hurt the small communities. Today in Washington, a federal judge will begin a week and a half of hearings on whether 25-year-old John Hinckley Jr. should be released from the mental hospital after a conviction of not guilty by reason of insanity in 1981. Who is Hinckley, you ask? On March 30, 1981, he left a letter addressed to girlfriend actress Jodie Foster, quote, Dear Jodie, there is a definite possibility I will be killed in my attempt to get Reagan, end quote. That day in history, Hinckley fired six shots at the president in less than two seconds. Ronald Reagan barely survived and his attacker was hauled away. Much of the eight-day hearing will involve contrasting testimony from psychiatrists on either side. Hinckley did not testify then, and whether he will do so this time remains in dispute. With a look at technology, a team of Harvard scientists designed a soft robot which can move under difficult obstacles by mimicking certain animals such as squids and worms. The robot does not have a hard internal skeleton but consists of chambers that can be inflated to create movement. This type of design makes the robot less susceptible to damage from falls and colliding with hard objects. A drawback for the time being is that it is connected to an external power source which would make real world situations difficult. Scientists are optimistic, however, in strengthening their creation. Today, Britain, Britain said they have closed its embassy in Tehran, withdrawn its diplomats, and ordered Iran to do the same within 48 hours. Foreign Secretary William Hogg announced these measures after yesterday's Iranian protesters shouted death to England as they stormed the British embassy. The protesters tore down the British flag, smashed windows, and briefly detained six staff members in what appeared to be a state-sponsored protest against Britain's tough new economic sanctions against Iran. The attack was the most serious diplomatic breach since the traumatic assault on the American embassy after Iran's Islamic Revolution in 1979. Well, the snow has once again begun to fall. With a closer look, we turn to Jessica Golseth. Jessica? Thanks, Johnny. Well, if you've been outside today, then obviously you are aware that it's snowing and has been for most of the day. And it's just been a light dusting. The high was about 34 degrees, so it was a little too warm for the snow to really stick to anything. But, like I said, if you've been outside, you'll see some of the roads and sidewalks have a very thin layer of snow. As the day continued, the snow will begin to pick up just a bit to blowing snow with temperatures at about 16 degrees. Total accumulation for today will be less than an inch, which for this time of year is very unusual. The average snowfall for Jamestown in November is four to six inches. We have barely accumulated an inch and today is the last day of November, which means tomorrow is the first day of December and Christmas is now only 25 days away. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny with a high around 19 degrees, clear skies with a low of about 13 degrees. So it will be a colder day, try and dress warm and keep from catching a cold. Friday will be about 20 degrees warmer than Thursday and mostly sunny skies with a slight breeze. Looking at the weekend, Saturday looks clear with a high of almost 30 degrees for the day and a low in the tweens for the evening. Sunday we'll see another chance of snow and temperatures much like Saturday. And Monday of next week, we'll see some cooler temperatures in the low 20s teen area. That's all the weather I have for today. Remember to dress warm. The flu season is here. Now back to the news and to you, Johnny. Thanks, Jessica. After graduating in December with a business management degree, Grand Forks native Alex Crace will go to Florida in the spring for training as a professional baseball player. The two-time Dakota Athletic Conference Pitcher of the Year was drafted by the Washington Nationals in the 35th round of the Major League Baseball Draft last June. 
In Jimmy's women basketball, they are now 10 and one after victories on both Friday and Saturday. Friday's game left Rocky Mountain College with a loss of 90 to 83. Again on Saturday, they took home the big W with a score of 78 to 65 against Dickinson. The men's basketball also wanted nothing short of domination. Friday's defeat of William College, 72-69, fueled them to do it again Saturday against, against Presentation College. Well, thank you for joining us again, Jamestown. Tune in tomorrow when we will once again connect the campus with the community. I'm Johnny Jerome. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.